what stuck to my mind was the fact that one of the um, um, present one of the guys that was present presenting, he said he was in prison five years for something he was accused for, and that um, and I went after the presentation. I went to him and I asked, "How did he deal with it?" And he was like, uh, "My religion. He was praying. He was um, he was focusing on his." Um, on his religion more and that gave him strength to carry on in the prison even though he was accused and he was in prison for something he didn't do. The thing that spoke to me most was the fact that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover and I never would have guessed walking down the street the past that those two different people had and I liked the fact that they came from such different backgrounds and not liked but like I appreciated the fact that like you'd never expect that. And if I knew them when they were my own age, starting to get into that sort of life, then I would never have expected them to grow up into those people and have done what they did. I think that like whatever happens, like you can always like come back from like your past experiences and what you've done in the past. So you can always like change like your ways, if that makes sense to you. When I left that talk, I think the thing that stuck in my mind the most was their journey of being a normal boy in their community in Birmingham to their journey and ending up as a terrorist and what they were involved in. And two, the two journeys were very different. One was more because he wanted to fit in and the other one was because he was trying to do something right that kind of went a bit wrong but they were both really interesting and it kind of opens your eyes up to see that it's not how you think it is. It's not just, oh, they wanted to do something that is bad and they went and done it. It's more of a deeper thing and quite more serious.